If you are creating a work cycle like most tutorials describe and you try to use the auto physics tool, then you get this weird jumping action. That's because the legs are not stationary on the ground. So the character needs to move forward and the feet or at least the heel or the toes should stay in one place while they are contacting with the ground. Let's get started with blocking. First I want to focus on the legs and the body. So I will set FK on frame for the arms. So they will move with the upper body even if they are not selected. And then I can select the bones of the arm and press V to hide them. And I will also move the legs closer to the center and set up a more neutral pose. The first pose we need to create is the contact pose where the foot on the front is just touching the ground. The hip is twisted in the direction of the foot on the front. The back leg is pushing the body forward and it pushes the hip upward. During the walk, the whole upper body is slightly tilted forward. The faster the walk, the more you need to lean forward. The shoulders are twisted opposite to the hip and there is a slight counter rotation. The center of mass is moving from the back foot to the front foot, but the most weight is still on the back foot. At the passing pose, the foot that is contacting with the ground should stay in the exact same place. You can select the whole foot, right click on the heel point controller and rotate around them. And you can lock it so you don't make accidental changes and it will stay on this position. The weight is shifted to the front foot completely that is on the ground and the other foot is just passing by next to the other leg. The hip rotation and twist is almost completely neutral and the spine is straight. The toes can be dragging a bit since the heel is leading the motion of the foot. On the down pose, the front foot is exactly at the same position as in the passing pose. The heel of the back foot is raising while the toes are still in contact with the ground. The center of mass is moving forward and down. The hip is still favoring the front foot, but the rotation is getting closer to horizontal. And the head should keep looking forward the whole time. The last pose we need to create is the up pose. The weight is completely on the foot that is on the ground, which is pushing upwards. Because of this push, the hip is rotated upwards on the side of the bottom foot, and you can even lift the heel a little bit. The front foot is preparing for catching the body from falling forward, and as before, the hip is twisted towards the front foot. I will now unhide the arms by pressing Alt V and start working on them. The arms are moving like a pendulum, opposite to the legs. They are at the widest on the down pose on keyframe 4 and at the bottom on the passing pose. The shoulders are twisting towards the front arm and they are slightly down on the passing pose. The shoulder is leading the movement of the arm, so the forearm and the hand is dragging a little. While the upper arm is moving backwards, the lower arm is rotated a bit forward and the hand a bit more. As the upper arm is moving forward, the lower arm is completely straight, but be aware of locking, and the hand is rotated slightly backwards. So we now have the first half of the walk cycle, as it comes from contact, down, passing and up pose. To create the second half of the cycle, we can copy and mirror these poses with the relative offset. You need to use relative copy, which you can turn on in the top left corner with this air button, or in the scene settings with this relative button under the copier. And it's better to use global mode in this case. So the next pose will be on frame 16. So I will create a new keyframe here. It should be the same pose as the first pose on frame 0, but mirrored. So with shift middle mouse click you can drag this pose. I will move it one frame forward from 16. And select every point controller, then go to mirror tool, set the correct mirror plane and mirror on current frame. Then to copy it to frame 16, you need to right click on the toes. You can do it here. 
as well. Press Ctrl C and here Ctrl V. And as you can see, the toes stay at the same place. And then you need to repeat these steps for every frame. Go to frame 20, create a keyframe, duplicate the original pose and mirror it. Then search for a point that should stay in the same place. In this case it could be the toes or the heel as well. I will stick to the toes, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And for the last pose you don't need to mirror it, you can use the very first pose, Ctrl C and Ctrl V here and you are done. For the interpolation I just used Bezier and I switched FK interpolation for the arms. And at this point keep playing your animation, look at it from different angles and look for issues that you need to fix. In my case the arm movement looks completely wrong, so I hide one of the arms and try to fix the movement only on one side. The complete arm swing takes two steps so I need to copy the mirrored arm with half a cycle offset. For the auto physics to work correctly you need to make at least one or two more steps uh, so the interpolations are correct and then use relative copy as described before but at least now you don't have to mirror all the poses. You can turn on physical ghost and as you can see here the first step the center of mass keeps going down even after the down pose but for the second half it is corrected. In the physics settings you can choose to apply physical corrections only or even compensation and secondary motions. To apply the physics correction you need to use the first snap button and to apply the additional correction use the second snap with additional motion button. I will now get rid of the first half of the cycle and shift the physically corrected part to start from frame 0. To make it an in-place animation I want the center of mass to move only vertically. For this I will need to move the first pose to the center using the interval edit mode with step mode selected. Then I select the center of mass and select the whole interval on the timeline from 0 to 32. Then turn on the visibility of trajectories if not turned on already and activate trajectory edit mode. Here I made a mistake that I have the visibility only for the keyframes that you can turn on and off with this key icon. So the fixed frame in this case won't be edited only the keyframes. So you need to make sure that all the points are displayed in the trajectory and not only the keyframes. So select all of the points in the trajectory, right click on the first point and then switch to the scale gizmo and scale the trajectory until the center of mass is only moving up and down. At this point if you want to make changes to the animation it's easier to use the interval edit mode with bezier or linear mode selected. For example I bend the foot a bit backward on the passing position as it is dragging at this point. And I noticed that the head is doing some pigeoning, I think that's the correct term, as it rotates down at the top position and it looks quite weird. So I selected Bezier mode and when the head was rotated the most, I straightened it. If you use Bezier or any kind of interpolation at this point, it might not cycle perfectly because the tangents are not correct, but there is now a use cycle tool that will fix the interpolation for cycles. Just select everything on the timeline except the last keyframe and click on the use cycle button. This will create a highlight around the cyclic part. You can now delete the last keyframe. If you hover over the end of the cycle with the mouse from the right side, you can drag to continue the cycle. But if you select the left part of the end of the cycle, the interpolation will continue kind of like an overshoot. Creating a work cycle by moving your character forward, it makes more sense and I think it's easier to get the correct foot motion. And you can also use the auto physics tool this way. But in case of animations like this, 
the auto physics tool doesn't make much difference. So if you want to, you can stick on animating an in-place work cycle immediately. That's also a valid option. And for that you can find many great tutorials online. Anyway, I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.